नमस्कार आई विश्व रूपा रथ वेलकम यू ऑल टू उदय इंडिया डिजिटल टुडे आई टेल यू अबाउट हाउ इंडिया इज मार्चिंग अहेड इन द फील्ड ऑफ मल्टीपर्पज सी पोर्ट द हेवी लोड कैरियर जेन हुआ फिफ्टीन डॉक्ट एट द विजिन जाम इंटरनेशनल ट्रांस शिपमेंट डीप वॉटर मल्टीपर्पज सी पोर्ट इन थिरुवंतपुरम लास्ट वीक गिविंग केरला इन नैदर फर्स्ट आफ्टर द टर्मिनल एट वल्लर पदम इन कोची वॉज नेम्ड इंडिया फर्स्ट ट्रांस शिपमेंट कंटेनर टर्मिनल द लार्ज चाइनीज शिप जेन हुआ फिफ्टीन विच वॉज कैरिंग ए नामस कंटेनर हैंडलिंग क्रेन्स अराइव्ड एट द अदानी ग्रुप बिल्ट विजिन जाम इंटरनेशनल सी पोर्ट वॉटर सल्यूट्स वर यूज टू एक्नोलॉज इट इट कंप्लीटेड अ वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स जर्नी एंड अराइव्ड एट विजिन जाम हार्बर द शिप स्टॉप्ड इन गुजरात मुंड्रा पोर्ट ऑन द वे टू विजिन जम टू अनलोड क्रेन्स केरला इज आंटिसिपेटिंग दैट Thiruvanthapuram would emerge as the next major international port city and the Vizin Jam port will play a significant role in the flow of freight within India. Now, why are we talking about this thing? Ports are meant for ships to dock at ports, but this is a significant step in sealing India's future in Indian Ocean region. The docking of the Chinese vessel made it clear that Vizin Jam could receive any mother ship a huge ship from which smaller craft or feeder vessels are launched since jen huas 15s anchoring confirmed that vision jam had the depth and width to accommodate huge cargo ships it gained additional significance the zen hua 15 is a chinese cargo ship that was the first to dock at the vision jam port in india This is a significant event as it marks a shift in India's maritime policy. The Vision Jam port is located on the southern coast of India and it is one of the deepest ports in ports in the Indian Ocean. This makes it a strategic location for both commercial and military vessels. The port is also close to shipping lanes that connect India to the Middle East and Africa. China has been investing heavily in port infrastructure in the Indian Ocean in the recent years. This has raised concerns in India as China could use these ports to support its military operation in the region. The decision to allow the Zhenhua 15 to dock at the Vizin Jam port is a signal to China that India is not going to allow China to dominate the Indian Ocean. The Zen Hua 15 docking at the Vizin Jam port is also a sign of India's growing maritime capabilities. India has been investing heavily in its navy in recent years and it is now one of the most powerful navies in Indian Ocean. The decision to allow the Zen Hua 15 to dock at the Vizin Jam port shows that India is confident in its ability to protect its maritime interests. There are some specific ways in which the Zen Hua 15 docking at the Vizin Jam port could help India counter China in the Indian Ocean. It could help to strengthen India's ties with other countries in the region such as the United States, Japan and Australia. These countries are also concerned about China's growing influence in the Indian Ocean and they are working together to counter China's military and economic expansion. It could help to deter China from taking aggressive actions in the Indian Ocean. China is aware that India is becoming more assertive in its maritime policy, and it is less likely to take aggressive actions if it knows that India is prepared to respond. It could help to boost India's economy. The Vizin Jam port is a major commercial port and it is expected to generate billions of dollars in revenue for India. This revenue could be used to fund India's military and economic development which would make India even more capable of countering China in the Indian Ocean. Overall, 
the Zen Hua 15 docking at the Vizing Jam port is a positive development for India and for the Indian Ocean region. It is a sign that India is becoming more assertive in its maritime policy and it is a signal to China that India is not going to allow China to dominate the Indian Ocean. Apart from this, the docking also displays the central government's commitment towards development. Kerala has been traditionally against any right-wing government in centre or elsewhere. Despite that, the central government facilitated the Vizinjam port, keeping in mind the national interests and not vote bank politics. Earlier, Congress governments could not do such things as they were bound by their MOU with the Chinese Communist Party and could not hamper their interest in the region. Now this is political, but a truth. And it is also true that India is now aggressively pursuing its own national interest under the Modi government. With this, I wrap up this edition. For more such news, stay tuned to Uday India.